Just, are, you, are you pleased with how your team's playing right now? Uh, I mean, uh, absolutely. I mean, we had a rough start, but uh, I, I contribute that to the schedule. Um, uh, but I, I think that schedule has made them better. And uh, you know, when you want to be playing your best tennis is in April. And so we're, we're excited about being the number one seed uh, in the conference. And we're, you know, we're looking forward to uh, having a great opportunity to win the conference this year. The House Rose and Stair, I know in the past, they've had some pretty foreign players. Right. How are they now? They're very good. Uh, uh, the coach up there probably has his best team they've had in several years. Um, I believe there's somewhere around uh, the 29 range, 28. Um, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, the way we're playing right now, we feel we feel like uh, we can go up there and upset them. When I say, what would you like your team to do better right now? I mean, obviously, man, but I mean, is there anything from a tennis standpoint that you look at and you know, you know, this guy's got to do something a little bit better, a little bit different? Um, certainly, though, you know, we're we're always tweaking. Uh, little things here and there, um, you know, uh, uh, Matt Fawcett is right now in a little bit of a slump. I think he needs to be uh, playing better, and so uh, hopefully I can manage him the next few days and get him going. Um, but, uh, you know, in order for us to, to win the conference and, and to do well at Fresno, um, we just got to take one at a time, uh, continue the same work ethic, uh, and really, really just focus on the match itself and not looking ahead into the future. So when, you, when you say you have to manage them, I was going to ask you, do you have to, do you coach, coach these guys technically or do you have to coach them more mentally? Uh, both. <laughs> both. Both. Um, uh, you know, I, I think it, at this point of the, of the season, it's more of a managerial role than it is uh, a technical aspect. Um, so uh, I'm definitely uh, uh, focusing on them mentally and, and getting them ready to play. And Coach, sorry, I, I, the Denver loss is my fault. I jinxed you guys, but you're showing up, I think. I uh, just kind of talk about how it feels to know that, you know, headed in, in, the, in a couple of weeks at the conference tournament, that you guys are where you want to be, and, you know, as far as being the team to be. Well, you know, it's you know, it's that's an interesting question because all year we've kind of been the underdogs. That's how we looked at it, and now all of a sudden we're the uh, we're the one seed. And so, uh, with that, uh, kind of how we described it is is or how we approached it to coaches is we're looking at it um, from the point of view that we're still the underdogs. That. Uh, that Santa Barbara, that Irvine, that Pacific, some of these other teams are the teams to be um, uh, and taking some of the pressure off us. Um, because in tennis, that's that's a or with any sport, that's a huge, uh, the huge underlying gray area. So what we want to do is we just want to we want to have the same approach like we have all season. We're the underdogs, and we're going to go in there and, and take it one match at a time and see how we finish. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Justin, let me ask you real quick. Uh, the two matches this past week against ranked opponents, losing 4-3 to a number 20, 29 team, Denver, and defeating UC Irvine. Uh, rankings come out tomorrow. Where might we see the Mustangs? Well, you know, a good question. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we'll definitely crack the top 75. I'd love to see us in the, in the top 50 in the country. Um, but your guess is as kind of good as mine. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to in the 75 range. I just don't know exactly where. So um, I'll be anxious to see. Okay. What's the highest you guys have been playing? I believe 75 in the country since I've been coaching here. I believe that's the highest.